Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Strategy Gamers. Today we are going to be playing as Great Britain on Empire Total War. So I go through this whole description but it's a lot of reading and I don't want to read. Because reasons! And it takes too long. So I'm just going to put up the di campaign difficulty up to hard. I put it on very hard but in all honesty the AI is just like hey you exist I'll attack you now. So I found anything past hard, there's just no point in trying, because the AI will just declare war on you. I've I've had I paid the AI just so much money and allied them and they declare war on me next turn. I don't know if this is the same experience for everyone, but it's unfortunately what happens to me a lot, so we're just gonna keep that on Your hard difficulty. Probably should have turned off AI advice because I don't really need it, but you know what, whatever, there we go. So we start off with London. Edinburgh, Dublin, oh, I believe we, no, Spain owns that. Um, what else do we own? We own Port Royal, Jamaica, Nassau, Bahamas, and Moose Factory, Rupert's Land. Wonderful. Okay. Let's start over in Europe. How much money do I make a turn? 3,740. That is absolutely terrible. That must be... That must get much better. And I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, guys. Do not expect me to make any navies. I'm considering disbanding the one I already have. I, I do not like navies. I, I've never really been good at naval battles. I'm working on getting better, but don't expect if we get involved in any naval battles for me to pull off some amazing, outstanding victory. Because it's just not gonna happen. So, let's actually start bringing the troops over here from Ireland down to London. What do we got here? Okay. Not a bad start. Do we have any guys in uh, Scotland? No, we don't. Okay. We have a gentleman here. Do we have any other schools that we can work with here? Nope, that's the wrong tab. AI, stop talking. We have Cambridge. Cambridge. Oh, wait, is this not a school? Oh, that's a church. Oh, my mistake. Okay, so here is our school. What do you require? Let's just put... Oops. Put him in the school so we can get some better research. What do I want to start with? You know, I really, really want to get bayonets. I found those are just so useful. If you don't have those and you're fighting an enemy that has bayonets, you're just not going to make it, so... Yeah, let's lead with that. That's three turns, not too bad. And now on to upgrades. What can we build here? Okay, not bad. We can 33rd foot, line infantry, basic line infantry, militia and cav, pikemen. Yeah, pikemen, I'm, I'm not going to be training too many pikemen. They're, they're useful against cavalry, but... In my experience, the AI doesn't really use cavalry properly, so a unit of militia or line infantry is really just as effective, especially once I get my bayonets. So, let's see. Let's get started on that. I'm, I'm going to start with all the cheaper things before I start investing in the more expensive things. So I'll have to get, what is this? Common land enclosures. I'm going to have to get that soon. Oops, missed one. Actually, 7,500, that's a pretty good to start off with. I'm not sure if all nations get that much. Keep going, I think we're, yep, we're going over the same stuff now. So, let's see. This, this is going to help us a lot in terms of region wealth. And I do want to get my economy up, because it's a lot lower than, um, than where I'd really want it to be at this point. So... There any, actually, before I start going there, I'm not sure I'm, if any of my colonies in the Caribbean offer something. How much is... Oh, is this sugar? Yes. Let's, how, let's see how much that's worth at the moment. Why do I keep going to objectives? Under trade. Ah, sugar's... Ah, I guess it's it's up there. Yeah, you know what? Um, I can't actually upgrade that. Is there anywhere else? Oh, here we go. Now we can, This is where we can work with is sugar or coffee which is okay sugar is definitely worth more 
Let's get that. Not such. Do I even want to invest too much in the Caribbean? I mean, I guess it could be a helpful base of operations almost in case for whatever reason I'm not able to acquire the 13 colonies and prevent the American uprising. But I, I, if I want, if I'm going to invest anything, it's definitely going to be in Moose Factory just because it's on the mainland. And I know for a fact I'm not going to have the navy to really combat the pirates and at some point more than likely the Spanish because I have the feeling I'm going to be going to war with them at some point. I'll actually combine these navies. Yeah, I'm probably going to use these mainly as just a defensive force to keep the pirates off of the shipping routes. But in terms of repairing them, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to invest too much in that. But you know what, we'll see. Depends how many trade routes I get along this area. Speaking of trade routes, I might want to start setting that up. So, I'm just going to get a trade route with everyone. I don't really... Oh, no. No, come on, Austria. No, let's be friends. Don't, don't ask me for money. Really? I'm gonna. I'm not giving you anything. It's trade agreement or nothing, guys. Okay, no trade for Austria. No, but I'm gonna try to get um trade with as many people as possible, even if they don't necessarily. Actually, except France. France is gonna be the exception because I know I'm gonna go to war with them. But everyone else, I'm. If I can get trade with them, great. It'll help. Not the Mughal. Actually, yeah, the Mughal Empire. Even though they're gonna get conquered. Nope, they're going to reject. That's that's okay. There we go. The Ottomans. Hey, Poland. Yeah, you guys like me. What? We can't. Are we already trading? Oh, we can't. Oh, I can't trade with them. Ah, it's too bad. Ah, good. Trade with Prussia. Actually, can I get an alliance with Prussia? Ah, that's, that's, that's not good. You know what though, United Provinces and Austria, it's not a bad start. Is there any minor nations? There we go. Crimean Republic, or Republic. Crimean Cahante? I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Denmark. Yeah, there's a lot of people I could trade with. But, yeah, you know, Saxony, I'll trade with them because they're friendly. No, everyone wants money from me. I will give them nothing. Okay, that, okay, we're almost up to 5,000 a turn. That's that's a really good start. Still, though, I, I, if I could keep... If for my non-wartime economy, if I could keep it somewhere around 10,000 a turn, that's really where I'd probably want to be. And wartime, I don't want to fall below 5,000 because then you really start to get in trouble. So, I do want more trading with great powers. So, I want to see, is there any docks that I can upgrade anywhere to increase my trade capacity. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Anything in the Caribbean I can do? No, I have to do a lot of research. Yeah, about Moose Factory. Gotta love that name though, Moose Factory. It's awesome. Okay, London, England. My capital. Oh, we can do some stuff here. You know what? Scotland I should invest in. A lot. I mean, Dublin, I'm going to put a bit into, but I have a feeling Scotland and um, Edinburgh, Scotland, and London are going to be my primary army building cities within the European theater. Now, before I really start spending my money, I'm going to go over my strategy. Out of everyone, I'm thinking France, they don't like me. Uh, we're going to end up going to war over the North America's at some point, it's inevitable. So, because I don't want to be fighting a massive two-front war with them in Europe and North America, just so I can focus my resources, if I were to make an attack where I hit Bastia, Corsica, I still don't think I'm pronouncing that right. And is that actually France? Oh no, that's Genoa. Genoa? Yeah, Genoa. And Paris. If I were to hit Paris, do they have any other territories in Europe? Oh my god, do they really not have any more territories? I feel like such a I feel like I don't know how to play this game right now. Cause I don't know. I didn't know that France only had this one territory. Because that my last campaign that I've been spending a long time with was Prussia and I've been expanding like all the way through Russia and 
east, and I haven't been focusing on the west, so I haven't been paying attention to where their cities are. But no, that's great. If I were to take Paris, that means that all their colonies in the Americas, I'm, if I'm correct, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they all go independent. Or at least you get, you know, Quebec, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Quebec, turn, Quebec, New France, I believe, turns into Quebec. Montreal, I think, is Quebec. Acadia, I'm not sure. But, no, I'm pretty sure they're all just going to go into either Quebec or their own kind of individual rebel states, which is really helpful. That's going to make them a lot easier to pick off, especially if I can um, get control of the 13 colonies, which I'm pretty sure that's already an objective, or I'm not sure if I get that next turn. Yeah, I'm going to get that next turn. But no, I, that's going to be very important. Get those resources along the 13 colonies and help with my expansion in the American Theta. Okay, let's let's start spending our money here. Do I have my na Where's the other navy? Did I rally them? No, they aren't. Here we go. So again, don't expect me to be making much naval strategy here. I'm just going to combine my fleets and try to survive navally. Let's work with this do i want to get this oh it's so expensive but it it gets so much money in that research i'll get one J yeah just because it gives me the money and the weaver's cottage uh. you know what no i'm not going to do that right now i know it's going to give me a lot of technology but it's i can only research one thing at a time so it's not necessarily useful to me as of right now. Let's see, is there anything in the cities that I can afford? An opera house. So actually, what, how's the happiness in London? Is everybody good? Eee. High class isn't entirely happy. And Edinburgh. Okay, Edinburgh. Okay, I don't, I, I'm, I don't really care for the high class as much as the low class, because the low class are really what creates... The majority of your rebellions, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it would make sense. But, yeah, I want to keep these guys happy. Let's see, what can I build here? Can I have cannon foundry? Conservatorium, there we go. That should help. Still got some money. You know what? You know what, let's put a little bit of money into Dublin. Um... Where else? Is there anywhere else I can spend my money? Here? Cannon Foundry. Alright, that's good. Can start producing cannons in Edinburgh. Building up Dublin. Got my Navy rally by London. And London in total. It's okay, but I just don't want to get the... You know, the, um... Populace too unhappy. Within my mainland. Like, in the Caribbean, I'm not too concerned. Because these are... Yeah, they provide sugar, which is really good with the trade and such, but all in all, like, if you look, this is actually a really good army I have stationed here. Here, it's not too bad. I don't expect them to really be having massive rebellions. As you can see, they're not too unhappy. Oh, wow, they're really happy in the Palmas. But yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So for now, let's just end our turn. See how everybody's doing, if I get any diplomatic offers. Not provinces. They, I, I find it so funny how they go to war with France and Spain right at the beginning of every game, and they never make peace. You just see these little skirmishes between them the entire game. It's like, oh, okay, this is... Oh, no, Prussia. Oh, my God. Okay, Prussia. Why did I ally Prussia? I should have seen this coming. Okay. So, Prussia will be... Against United Provinces and Austria. Uh, if I join Prussia, that means I lose two allies. Granted, Prussia is potentially a stronger ally, but I do not. I do not want to commit troops there right now. I want to focus with France and focus with Spain. I do not want to get involved in a war against Austria, which has the potential to actually do some damage to me, as does Prussia. But I'm a lot more scared of Austria and the United Provinces than I am of Prussia alone. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to help Austria on that. 
Oh, lovely. Another war. Oh, who's attack? Oh. So, they're attacking Austria again. Russia, Denmark, Cortland, Saxony. Again, Russia, they, I don't believe they have the Navy. Like, I might not be good with Navy, but they don't even have the Navy to really oppose me, so I'll help Austria again. I mean, that's really not the best move now that they're at war with Poland and Russia, but... Gotta deal with it. I don't want to go... I don't want to now be fighting a war against... Or for Austria. Oh, no. Come on, Iroquois, guys. Okay. Getting in so many wars here. Come on. Come on. Thirteen colonies, defend yourselves. Believe in you. Oh, this is a great start. I'm in three different wars. What should I expect? I'm in Great Britain. You're the great and the mighty. We will destroy our enemies. Another war. Okay, you know what? All I can say, Austria, you better join me. You better jo If Austria does not join me, I'm going to... We're going to have some problems. Okay. Okay, th there we go. That's, that's what I wanted to see. You messed with the wrong country, because I have a lot of allies. Granted, none of them can really contribute, but, you know, I have allies. I have friends. Lots of friends. And the pirates doing all their piratey stuff. There we go. So, what regions do they want me to capture here? No time. Oh, good. No time limit. Georgia. Um, where are all they? The 13 colonies they want me to capture. Cherokee, New France. So, Quebec, New France. Cherokee territory. Where is that? Is it up here? No. Um, I should know this. That's the Huron. 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 Not sure how to pronounce that. Oh, there we go. There's the Cherokee territory in Georgia. Where's Georgia? Oh, see, here's the thing. It's so spread out. It's like if it was just a map, I could find. Georgia, but when it's like, oh, there it is, right in front of me, Savannah, Georgia, oh my god, let's go all the way, oh. alright, that's, I'll deal with it, that's not too bad, I guess, maybe, I hope, war declared, United Province, United Provinces, come on, guys, don't get in wars, even though you're getting that war every game, okay, so, wait a second, wait a second, What's why? Why do I see? Oh, is it because I have trade route? Is that why it's highlighted? Oh, Denmark's raiding my trade route. Wonderful. Oh shoot, that's probably making me a lot of money. All right. Well, I didn't want my wartime economy to get out of uh, five thousand. So as long as we're above five thousand, it's good, I guess. Weaver's Cottage. You know what? I'll invest in this now. Going to get some troops as well. Um, are they? Are they worth it? Wait. Oh, so they have better morale, but not as good melee. Or no, their melee is better. Oh, that's their melee defense. Okay. You know what, just... Oh, they're so expensive, though. Oh, my God. Uh, do they have abilities? You know what, not now. Just that upkeep. I don't want to deal with that upkeep right now. Oh, what? Oh, the line infantry is right up there, too. Maybe in that case, it would be worth it just to get a militia, almost. Yeah, but they're just so weak. You know what, I will invest in two line infantry right now that's gonna put my economy under 5,000 but I think I'm going to rally up an army either attack Christiana or attack Copenhagen and try to get Denmark to surrender 
Or maybe just take both, and then they'll be stuck with Iceland. And then they can't really do too much. Regardless, just to get this trade route freed up. So I can keep trading. Am I trading with Sp um, Sweden? I did not know I was trading with... Oh, yeah. Literally forgot about that. Okay. So, let's put you in this stock for now. This is our army so far. We're going to get two more line infantry plus yes. this army. Not kind of army I want to send into battle. But it is it will be our army. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, we spent most of our money. Is there anything I can upgrade? I should actually... Now that I am at war in the Americas... Ooh. Can I take this? Yes, I can. I'll do that in a minute. We'll get into our first battle. I should probably be recruiting some troops here. Ooh, who has, I want a low upkeep unit. Militia's going to be what I'm going to make. Let's see how many can I get. I can get one militia unit plus boys, the boys, the troops that I already have here. Um... Uh, who, do, who was it? The, who was it? Huron? Wyan? Dot? Yes. Where are they? They are over here. And here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get this army going. Next turn, most of my resources are going to go into that. So let's get this naval battle started. I'm going to warn you, it's gonna be absolutely horrible, and I'm probably gonna lose, but you know what? Let's have some fun, huh? Okay, oh, they have a galleon. Do I have a galleon? I have an Admiral's flagship. Called the fifth rate. Achilles. Oh my god, I'm just noticing that they actually name the ships. Oh, I got the zebra. Another, that's a zebra. The Dumbarton Castle. Bourbon. And the Hector. Against the blue Badger and the Neptune. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I like it, Achilles. That's a really cool name for the flagship. Alright, let's show these pirates what it means to fight the Royal Navy. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's take a look at my ships here. The Admiral's flagship, our biggest and best ship. She be at the front, Captain, or Admiral Tech. Well, this says the Admiral. So, I don't know what maybe. I don't know what does come after Ad Admiral. It's definitely not like whatever the commander of the Navy would be. Not sure. Well, you know, I'm going to look that up after this video. That's going to bother me. Okay, I don't want. Because this is not a normal land battle like I'm used to fighting do not judge me too harshly on my naval positioning and strategies I, I really am bad at naval battles please don't judge me okay this is a terrible idea probably but I'm gonna keep my flagship at the back because I don't want my admiral to die okay this is the most horrible positioning ever but you know what we're gonna do it the front and rear oh, of, of course ship are her most there. vulnerable right. areas. Timing a broadside well could devastate an enemy vessel as you pass its Let's, bow or stern. I know, target their weaknesses. Alright. The wind is coming from the west. Eesh. Why am I not just doing it this way? Okay, I overshot it a bit. What do they got? Where's their galleon? Is this it? Oh... Oh, I want this ship. Can I? I hope I can capture it. All right. Well, you boys, you're gonna go um there, and you are going to go here, along with you. You're gonna go there. Actually, that might not work. Uh, yeah, they're gonna reach those points. Um, hmm. Will they? Uh, are we sailing against or with the wind? Actually, because that might make a difference. 
Oof. I feel I feel like I'm just failing. Snape battle. You know, you know what? I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I'm doing so bad that you can all judge me in the comments. Feel free. That's how bad I'm doing. And you know what? That's it. I'm just doing this the easy way. I'll pay for the damages. Everybody, just prepare to broadside them. Your air naval strategy right here. All right, is everybody's cannons loaded? Let's speed it up too. Carrier naval strategy: just turn on your side and broadside. This is how the this is how the Royal Navy does things. I've always loved the ship designs in this game. I mean, it, it's just oh, look at it! It's such a good design. And then you have the crew just running around doing stuff. Oh, okay, there's one of them. Turn on your side! Ow, 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 that's not cool, man. Not cool. No! No! I'm, to I'm so bad at this game. When it comes to- Oh, now I'm gonna- I'm not hitting my own ship. Come on. Come on, Captain. Yeah, you know what, Captain? Captain. Eh, no, I shouldn't be commanding this. With all the speed. Come on, come on, come on. Boom! Oh! That's a broadside for you. Uh, you know, it's not worth it to capture Sloop. Oh no, don't be shooting at my guy here. That's not what I call friendly. It's less than friendly, actually. We are friendly people. We fight honorably. Is everybody reloaded? Ready to fire. Be ready to fire, men. The enemy will not show us mercy, so we shall not show them mercy. And fire. That didn't work. There we go, Admiral, or the enemy. Just because we're gonna capture ships, we're we're gonna be like that. Oh no, 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 or, no! Board the ship, board the ship. Do, just do that. Okay, and you. Oh, I just alt tabbed. Oops. Come on, get me back in the game. Oh, ready? Aim, aim, fire! Ooh, that didn't do too much. This might not even be in range. Oh, 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 no, don't shoot at him. We don't want to damage him. It'll be our ship soon. There we go. Come on, oh, oh, we're boarding him. Come on, men! Let's let's destroy the enemy in every way we can. I think I've alt tabbed again. Sorry, that might have been my Skype. Oh okay, yeah, back to the fight. Yeah, sorry, that might that was just my Skype. I was making noises, and for whatever reason, it took me out of the game. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There you go. Trooper. Uh, he's a trooper. There you go. Now you. Oh my god, I'm losing more troops than I probably should be. And this ship is just sitting here. Okay. That's not necessarily good. No, everybody just attack him. Rig small guns and crew make single ship actions. We've sunk the enemy vessel. In name of our people and our Royal Navy. The enemy has fallen. There's still one guy on there. Come on, man. Get off of the boat. 
It's okay. He's I don't think he's getting off the boat. Oh no! Oh, we have a ship that's retreating. Oh my gosh. Come on. You. Out of world's flagship, catch up. And hurry, this video is gonna go over time soon. Only wanted it to be about a half an hour. No, don't don't sink the boat, man. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Not worth it to sink my boat, just to sink it. I think you're not gonna win the battle. Just don't sink my boat. Look at this guy. He's here. He's here now. You're not gonna win. Don't sink it. Don't no 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 no. Come on, come on. Try it. There we go. That hurt him a little bit. And you know what? All of you just get out of there. You're making this difficult now. Come on, come on. Fire! Oh shoot, I lost a ship. As I said, I am I'm not good at naval battles in this game. So just feel free to judge me. Like crazy. And this because I'm really just not good. Like as you can see, I'm trying to command my fleet in this time. Like this is fast time, and I'm trying to command. That should be a sign of how bad I am at this game. Oh, well, there we go, end battle. Oh my god, that was disastrous though. I should not have lost that many ships. I should have really auto-resolved it. Eesh. Oh gosh, we didn't even capture it. Oh my god. That was painful. I lost too many ships. I've said that like so many times. Alright, you know what? Go back to port, man. We're gonna get you repaired. Hopefully I can get better at naval battles. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode one of our campaign to bring British dominance over the entire world and such. We will conquer every single territory in the entire playable game world. If we can. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we can. Because, yeah. It's possible. Definitely possible. The Martha Confederacy, they're going to be a challenge. Because they just take out in all of India. And their economy, it, and their army, it, just skyrockets. They are amazingly powerful in this game. Anyway, there we go. That was episode one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, you know, talk, you know, if you have anything you want to ask or, you know, maybe suggestions for other games I could play, feel free to talk about it in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you on it. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have a good day.